Hi Leo, this is Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and welcome back. And for those that have just found this channel, welcome and I hope you will enjoy the readings. Have a look at last week's and this week's and um, and the coming week as I'm using the transparent tarot again. And this is the third way, a different way of using uh, the transparent tarot. Um, this is one of my favorite decks besides the uh, Shadowlands and the Enchanted Dream Tarot. I've got so many, I'm so blessed with all these beautiful um, tarot decks and it is awesome and you do have your favorites. And I've had a lot of reactions from people, also other readers, saying they're magic, they hadn't, didn't know they existed. So have a look and see how you like them because I layer them. And thank you very much for your beautiful reactions and sharing with family and friends. And there's also a couple of new things, like there's the first episode of the second Witches series in English. And that is with Georgina West, which is a person from England and she's a Wiccan, among others, and also Reiki. She does Reiki and she's awesome, it's great fun and the series is not only about Wiccan or Pagans or Witches it is getting you back into your strength eating healthily, taking care of the inside of your body as well as the outside and mentally, physically and spiritually it's awesome and it, we have laughs there will be uh, also uh, guests, uh, guest appearances people that make candles or do uh, reflexology or perhaps aromatherapy I'm still trying to get people to uh, collaborate so let's see whether we can get more people we are going to have uh, a, a, a guest next week there will be a video out uh, um, with a guest as well um, we are also going into the autumn and in the Wiccan calendar it's called the Maybom uh, for Equinox festivities, the harvest, okay? And also we're going into Libra on the 22nd, 23rd uh, according to the astrologers but of course it is in our calendar the 21st. So you might be feeling the Libra energy around that time and um, if you would like to find out what the Libra energy is then go and have a look at the video I made on the Libra energy. Wow and um, uh, there will be also free giveaways um, uh, in the autumn so keep your eyes peeled on the channel. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use the transparent tarot, the uh, everyday witch's tarot and the answer of the angels and one romance card and we'll get back to that later. I hope you will enjoy it and please hit the bell on all and subscribe if you're new and have a look at the uh, video on how to set your settings to get notified when I go live or when new videos are uploaded or videos uploaded from your favorite channels. There's a video on that on how to set the settings in YouTube to give YouTube permission and in your mobile device. The reading is from the 21st to the 27th of September 2020 and the first card that we take is um, <laughs> sorry, um, the uh, this one, and you have number twenty-one from the bigger Kana, and that is the world. She's happy. She uh, she knows that the world is her oyster, and something is coming to a close. A face is coming to a close, and there is a new beginning on the horizon. She's going with the flow. You might be going on holiday, you might be moving home, you might be upgrading or downgrading. Whatever uh, you're doing, it is a new beginning. You could be moving in with somebody, as the world also means promotions, 
going up to the next level in your work or going up to the next level in your relationship. Perhaps a friendship will become a relationship. Wow, exciting. And obviously it could also mean not only holidays or moving home, but it could also be that you're traveling for work. Then we go on, uh, what goes, sorry, the world also means what goes round comes round, what goes up must come down. That is my sh uh, karma card. If you done good, then you will receive back threefold. Have you done bad? you will ba receive it also back threefold. If somebody's done you good or wrong, they will get karma. They will get it back threefold as well. Wow. You seem to be in your strength, Leo, because you are literally there. Boom. You've got the strength card. Patience and endurance and uh, love has uh, put you in your strength. You might be meeting an other Leo, or you might have a relationship, or in business, or in love with an other Leo. And this makes you strong, but money is also coming to you. Like I said, this is the end of the phase, a new beginning. You're going into better times, because you've got number eight, which is the house of marriage, the ha house of... Um, no, it's not the house of marriage, sorry. It's the house of money. That could be inheritance, but it could also be that you're winning the lottery or you're getting a grant. Somebody's giving you a gift. But it's also the house of strength. Then we go on to this card, and that is the Ace of Pentacles. Like I said, you might be getting a promotion, but if you haven't got any work or you didn't have any work, then now it, the time is telling you that there will be a new job on the horizon. See the sun rising. This could also be a new relationship that has um, um, durability and is work going to be for long term. Like I said, marriage taking up a next level. Wow, this could be with a Leo, this could be with a, um, an Earth sign, a Virgo, Capricorn or a Taurus. Things seem to be uh, moving along really nicely, Leo, and your star, star sign or your readings are overall uh, very positive usually. Okay, so I hope it resonates with you. If it doesn't resonate with you, then have a look at your moon sign and your rising sign. Okay, then we have, um, this could be a new job, something that's durable or long lasting. Then we go on to the Knight of Swords. You will be receiving news. This news will um, come through cyber. That means email, text message, or telephone call. This could also be official news, like you have the job. That could be it as well, or you have the promotion. So uh, don't worry if you are stressed out. Don't worry. The You've come full circle. You've got a recognition. Wow, the world is your oyster. Don't forget that. Okay. Now, you could also be meeting a Gemini, a Libra, or an Aquarius, as it is the night. Okay. Absolutely awesome. Really exciting. Now we're going to start layering. Okay. You first of all have the Nine of Wands and you're leaning on one wand. You can see that the wands are behind you, so the problems are over. Like I said, an ending, there's a new beginning. Wow! And that is on the world, and there you go. Let's see whether I've got... The problems that were below you, the problems that were in front of you have gone. They are at your feet. They have 
they, it's, it, to me, it feels as if they are um, uh, rinsing away with the sea. The sea is taking them like that. That is how I would interpret it. The problems aren't here anymore. You're taking a time out at the moment um, just to catch your breath at the seaside perhaps or perhaps letting the old cobwebs blow away by being outside. Lovely, lovely, lovely. So there is new beginnings and this is the confirmation because a nine is an ending and the world is an ending of a face. There is, the nine is confirming that you can let go of your issues. Either let them rinse away or blow away like the cobwebs. <laughs> I didn't even realize that until now and I said that previously. Let those old cobwebs blow away. And like I said, you're taking time out. Now you have the Four of Swords. That means meditation or contemplation and evaluation. You're taking time out to think what is the next step. And you're taking the next step by going into peace. And you're coming into your strength. And there. Now look at that. You've taken time out. And you're standing up straight and powerful like the lion. After a period of rest or meditation, contemplation, you have found the, I, um, the answers and the strength to proceed. You have risen uh, and you're taking the next step. Look at that woman walking with the lion. You're not alone. You're realizing that there is lot more between heaven and earth. You know that there is, you, you might be more spiritual because you've um, gone out and meditated and contemplated. Wow. Or you might have seeked um, advice from somebody that is patient, loving and gentle. Okay. I love that combination. You've seek advice because she guides so somebody else might have guided you towards your strength and to stand strong and to be patient and calm the calmness the tranquility of the four of swords look what you've got here the ten of cups the ultimate happiness on top of the ace of pentacles boom like I said, you might meet a Virgo, you might meet a Capricorn, you might meet a Taurus. Happy families, you might be uniting. This is a relationship for long term. Um, you have no worries about money anymore because coming together, coming together also makes the financial, the material side much easier to cope with. Being together is standing strong. It's solidarity. It is not just love, but it's taking care of each other and to protect each other. And that is how a relationship will last. So if you're hooked up, you might have found um, the everlasting secret of being together. This partnership is for life. So I think that could, with the world in here, it could mean marriage for some of you. Awesome. But there will be more money coming in. It's the Ten of Cups, sorry. It, you could be an extension on the family. It is perhaps reuniting with family and friends, having parties because you're getting engaged. Like I said, the next level up from engagement, going to live with each other, or getting married celebrations and we've got the nine of cups here so you're moving up from the nine to the ten whoa and that could be the news the news could be that your wish is coming true awesome the nine of cups is also uh, means also celebrations don't drink too much don't go overboard the word to too little or too much is bad so take note don't get sick now just celebrate in the right 
way okay the ten of cups is family so it, family is tradition so celebrate in a n traditional way and in a classy way that is what I'm hearing in a classy way don't get drunk and don't get sick so happiness is on its way for you again Leo whoa anyway in my most of my readings I find that Leo is the has the most positive um, readings I don't know why because I don't sort out the cards okay and I, I also notice that a lot of the energy is changing and changing for the better. So you are in your element and within the next few months you will see results. You uh, might even get a different perspective and if you're not feeling in standing in your strength now then don't shy away to ask for help from a gentle loving nurturing caring person okay and you will see the results if you um, work at it and take or heed the advice now from the romance uh, deck I've got getting to know each other yes I think if you're hooked up you might even get a different perspective you might find even a new interest that you can do together because of the COVID something perhaps together at home or in the garden Wow as you reveal your innermost selves to each other your bond deepens yes if you're stuck with each other at home because you and because of the lockdown you will spend more time with each other and you also learn um, uh, each other uh, getting to know each other again on a different level the level of being forced to be with each other 24 7 some people can't handle it and some people can so learn from that okay I know we live in small houses the majority of us and we don't we we do get on top of each other but take your computer or tablet outside and sit outside and do what you have to do or perhaps go to another room and so you don't uh, sit on top of each other but stay in your strength you will notice it in a couple of months how things can shift and how you can adapt and you will get to know each other much more and for long lasting and for the long term the money will be coming in because you're working together okay you you're seeking to do things together we've got togetherness here the ten of cups family and friends together your wish is coming true stand strong meditate like here the four of swords meditate contemplate so you need to take time out for yourself 10 minutes in the morning or 20 minutes just sit there think about what you're going to do for the day and write it down and start making a plan follow the plan you can't get your list finished most usually in one day but just be happy and content and grateful what you have done then you can look back at what you do then you can see the results and you can build it up that way awesome I think this is a beautiful reading I hope you have enjoyed it good luck and have happy time partying ciao ciao please like and share